Uppercut, uppercut, sonic boom! G'day humans, I'm Bushkin. Today we're going to be talking about the Rapunzel's Tower, the Flare Tower. Well, it's not actually called Rapunzel's Tower. It's in this big vacant block of land here. Well, it used to be vacant, but then some smart Alex said, you know what, it fit there nicely, really nicely? A tower with a flare gun on top of it, and all hell broke loose. This is the real tower. It's called the Galata Tower. It's a Genoese tower built in the city of Istanbul, not Constantinople. Uh, and I guess it dates back to when, I don't know, Genoa and Venice were belting each other over trade and the right to, you know, make a lot of money. Um, it's in PUBG Mobile, an absolute mayhem-packed, fun-filled frolic. And today we're going to be looking at it and telling you exactly uh, what you should be doing to win more, uh, the little secrets of the tower, things you can get away with here, things you can't do, all the stuff that happens to make you a better PUBG Mobile player, which is what we try and do here at the Bushka PUBG Mobile channel. Now, one of the things that I do a lot is solo squad. Uh, I've done most of this season, ace, eight, nine, ten, whatever, on the North American server solo squatting. And... I drop here a lot, and I've seen some things. Like, I've seen some things. Um, because it's fun. Like, this place is just fun to hot drop, and it's mayhem, and it's an absolute nightmare. And there's some crazy things you can do here to absolutely maximize the way you're going to win. Um, let's start off with the top deck of the tower. This is the throne room, and we call it Rapunzel's Tower because... On a stream once, I said it's like Rapunzel's Tower, and then I said, Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your flare, which is the old nursery rhyme. Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your hair, and they climb up the hair. Anyway, it's called Rapunzel's Tower. This is the shooting deck. We'll get more into this later. The most important part of this top deck area here is people just leap off the edge and die. I don't know what they're doing either. That's what is that it has access to the flare gun, right? You win the top, on the drop, you get the flare gun underneath. The flare gun means more loot, and it means winning more. And then if you have to defend the top, obviously, this is the most important spot in the tower. Uh, you can defend up here from a lot of people. If you're running double AR or DBS and, and AR, then you can take a lot of people off the top of this little section here. Uh, and I've done it an awful lot. In fact, um, I'll show you. I might. I've done it so many times that I stopped uh, editing the footage. If you stand on top of that box, you are going to become a PUBG Mobile damage and stat farming god. Like it's just ridiculous how easy it is to rock up kills while on top of that little box there. Now, of course, it can be difficult. The big problems you have there if you get pushed by multiple people. Uh, they can eventually just trade you down with enough hit points. But anyone that comes up there is going to pay a lot of damage to get the job done. And once they push up, you'll generally get one guy that will push up on his own, uh, and then it'll all just go to hell in a handbasket. If one guy comes up, and then the next guy comes up, and then the guy after him. Uh, I will... You know what? I'm just going to fast forward this. This is four times speed, because I spend a lot of time on top of that box... Uh, and it's incredibly effective at winning gunfights. Like, just stupidly effective. The only weak point of that spot right there is that people from the Jimmy Barnes, the two blue Barnes that are on the road, uh, just slightly inland of you to your north, they can shoot you from the windows, so you have to move back all the way to the back. Like, you can see how I'm quite often all the way on the back. Um, otherwise, what will happen is you'll get shot or sniped from there. The other thing is try and stay near the boxes because the boxes are a great cover. You see I'm on the back there. Like, I, honestly, like I told you, I spent a lot of time at Rapunzel's Tower this season. <laughs> like I've spent a lot of time here just farming damage. Now let's talk about the other most important thing. That window there or that little portal there, there's two spawns for weapons up top that are nearly guaranteed every time. One is that spawn just there on my left, and the other one is the spawn over there on the other side of the boxes. Those, the window I just came through and the corresponding window on the other side 
are the two most likely weapon drop spots. They're where I usually get weapons. They can spawn in other places around the room, but they're the windows I aim for because they're the ones that are most likely to get me a gun. And getting a gun and living up there is really important. There's also like probably 50 to 60% of the time, a gun down under the stairs there, which is really, really cool. I don't know why this is clip is here because obviously that's just like you can get gliders off the top. I don't know why you need to be told that. Uh, this area here around the stairs is the best platform to defend. Um, it's very hard to assault this tower. Um, the easiest way to do it, I know it sounds a bit weird, is to go two at the top, two at the bottom and push up between when you're dealing with a solo. But a lot of people will rotate in here uh, and if you're looting around down the bottom, it's nice to have someone on this set of stairs here because it will often be the difference between, you know, life and death. People rotating in generally ram raid the edges or park behind the houses. And if that's the case, one person here on Overwatch, even late in the game, like this is, you can see there's only 15 people left alive apart from me. This is where you camp if you don't want to hold the top. And you don't want to be holding the top if you're miles outside the circle and your vehicle's downstairs, because you can actually get stuck up there and people will just sweat you out. Um, these buildings are difficult to exit from when people are holding that area. Uh, without throwables, it's very, very tough to get out of here. Uh, and people pushing in can get good angles on you from all over. Like the, the tower is great to defend from up top, but down the bottom here, there's no real safe space. Uh, a lot of angles, a lot of angles everywhere. People will assault you from the Jimmy Barnes all the time. That's the two blue Barnes over there. We call them the Jimmy Barnes because Jimmy Barnes in Australia is a famous rock singer. Um, you can see here's another likely lad who has smoked up, crashed the corner, and is now of the belief that he is safe from all world. Yeah. I don't know. They just, that's what they do. They crash the corner of Rapunzel's Tower. Um, this is why you assault from up and down at the same time, because if you're just coming up the corridor like this, uh, Rapunzel's is the most shotgun friendly piece of real estate in the game. It's a one person wide corridor the whole way up. I mean, if you're assaulting up here, make sure the guy in the front has a DBS. Uh, the easiest place to hold is the top, but a lot of people will hold here on the level just below. Uh, you can in fact get stuck here uh, with people above you. When you try and push up, you see a lot of late game traffic here. You try to push up and people will be holding the top with limited resources, maybe no armor and maybe no meds. And the people coming up from the bottom will probably have better gear. Uh, you can hold these boxes, but this room is a nightmare to hold uh, if you've got one up and one, one below. It's also only really safe behind those boxes. So if you've got any kind of throwable, what I'll generally do is come up here and I'll stop and I'll fake Gren. Uh, I'll fake Gren at the top of these stairs on my left. And if no one comes out, then I'll just throw the Gren behind the boxes. And you can hear the pills being popped there and you saw footsteps on your screen. I'm like, I know that guy's there. I'm fake Grenning. He doesn't pop out. Well, this is what happens when you fake Gren and they do pop out. Yep. Okay, and if they're not going to pop out and you fake Gren, well, you throw a real Gren and then they pop out or they get wrecked and you just throw it into the window behind those boxes and it'll land behind the boxes and it'll clear both boxes. You want to basically rebound it into the box and then anyone behind there gets razzle dazzled, which is, it's just a hard place. There's the Jimmy Barnes. Um, this is an amazing place to snipe. If people are sniping you from the Jimmy Barnes, people get locked into the windows, but the meta's really evolved now. And there are obviously people who will snipe the windows. But for the most part, if I'm over there at the Jimmy Barnes, I'm sniping the, the back. I move around and snipe over the edges of the barns rather than the um, sides themselves. And you see, if you've got time here, I'll drag bits of loot up and I'll have like three guns up here. Like if you want to camp Rapunzel's and make bank, bring an M416 up here for your sprays. Uh, bring an M, you saw the M249? 
I've got the M249 up here in case I get pushed by a full squad because having the M249 on the top means you can not have to reload for a long time. And there we go. There's a uh, another frag and I'm going to put my car nine back down in a sec. Go and pick up the M416 and go off and try and win the game. And that's what I mean. You've got to prepare for this. You've got to actually uh, realize that if you're a serious Rapunzel's camper, if you know what the Galata Tower is all about, this is that area that I should probably put earlier, showcasing how this is a great space to cover those three buildings. But I didn't. Uh, this is the, the most obvious sniper spot. There are a lot of sniper spots around the edge of Rapunzel. The reason that's the most obvious is because it allows you to get the most visual... Uh, your, view, your view is the most unencumbered. The sides of Rapunzel's are a nightmare because there's all these railings. And quite often, it's difficult to actually get... I mean, 4X spraying with an AK works for me. Does it work for you? Um, it's difficult to get sight lines that are not encumbered by the railings. And then they're trying to re suppress, repress. I mean, I love the AK. And people tell you it's got too much recoil, and they're wrong. They're very, 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 very wrong. You can do all kinds of things with an AKM. It doesn't have to just be CQC. I, I mean, god damn, it's a beast, isn't it? Uh, so always, the first person place you look when someone is shooting you is up there, okay? If you're not looking at Rapunzel's up there, you're in trouble. Um, these are the windows I'm talking about here. There is a spot if you want to go down uh, and jump down. Oh, man. Also, if you're gonna, if you're gonna get a, that's why I put that clip there. I remember now. If you're gonna get that glider, you get on it and you get straight off. Otherwise, you're gonna get rinsed. You're just floating around at short range and you're gonna get absolutely rinsed. Um, if you're on the glider, you've got to get off the glider quickly. If someone is up here with an automatic weapon, or well, all that's gonna happen is you're going to get gunned down out of the sky. It might not be perfect. It might not be where you want to be, but it's what you've got to do, okay? Um, I mean, I brought, I'd run out of footage of me jumping and killing people off the back of that thing. Like, I've got a lot of frags this season, boys and girls, from that position, and I've never run into anyone there. This is a really, really popular place late game, so people will try to rotate in via the yeet balloon, You've got to be aware. Now, you can hear the sound. It's a different sounding plane. There's a big plane, and the Yeet Balloon's a lot smaller. So I'm very aware of that, and I can see that there is also a car down below, but there's the guys I was looking for. My Yeeters. My Yeeters. Yep. Uh, no good for you. I love this new Scar skin. How good is this new Scar skin? And you see, when I'm looking for them, I'm over there at the area that has actually uninterrupted fields of fire uh, because that's where you're going to get the maximum uh, value for money. It's my favorite place in the game to drop. Like, honestly, I've just made an absolute killing at this joint this season. Um, I've come out of here with 16, 17 kills sometimes. It's insane. This is me yeeting in there late game. Obviously, it might look crazy to you, but the first thing I aim for is the middle. I just want to get to the middle because if you get to the middle, you've got the box and then you're moving around uh, from hard cover so you can get third person very, very quickly. Um, don't stay on the rooftops. Obviously, the elevators are incredibly valuable here uh, at Rapunzel's. You can use the elevators to go up and down. Generally, just go straight up to six. I like to go FPP when I jump out of the elevator, but I know I've already cleared the tower here, so I don't really have to worry about it. But it allows you, if someone's camping level two or something, you can go up quicker and people can run. Uh, and that's very, very important. If you jump in the elevator or even call an elevator down, it will really throw people around who are camping. And it also allows you to clear idiots that jump on top of the, uh, the roof downstairs, which is a lot of people. There's a lot of there's a lot of people doing that. It's just one of those things. I don't know where Steve is. Uh, I don't know what Steve was doing there. But Steve was doing something. I don't know what just happened there. I don't know why that clip's even in there, but it's important. Uh, hiding places. Under the stairs is a good one. Um, if you're not making a lot of noise, you can dodge whole teams there. These little alcoves, I've died so many times to people in these alcoves and in the corners. 
you'll get in a bit of a rhythm and you'll think you're doing well and you'll forget to check your corners. And when you don't check your corners, you get, you can see me checking the alcoves. I'm like, okay, safe. There's an alcove directly behind me. Yeah, hi, how are you doing? Yeah, you're a camping grub. Uh, but you know what? I camp here all the time, so hard to blame you. Ace Master 8, solo squatting, that's what we do. Land Rapunzel's, get a whole bunch of kills, go home a happy camper. People will hold the edges of this thing. Like, they will lie down and hold the edges. I'll show you one space before I go that people absolutely adore. Um, and I've seen this many, many times. There's a tree. Uh, you can see this is pretty standard. I'm doing the standard thing. Holding the top. I've won it. There's a guy up above me. Uh, he's landed there. He's got no weapon, nothing. That's his prerogative. Uh, and there's people out here having a gunfight. Now, you won't be able to see them. Um, because there's a tree out there. See, at the top of the screen, just under the high skill marker, there is a tree out there. If you lie down behind that tree after getting a gun at the start, it is very difficult for people up the top of the tower to see you, and you can just farm up to your little heart's content. Anyway, I think that's enough about Rapunzel's Tower, the Galata Tower, the Tower of Power, Bushka's Flare Drop Deluxe, the place to be if you want to get happy with your rig. Uh, remember to like the videos and subscribe. And as always, stay safe on the battlefield. And if you like this video and you want to see videos about other places on the maps, let me know and I'll make them. Leave a comment below and uh, it should be fun. Until next time, bye for now. Oh yeah, stay safe on the battlefield, etc.